Hello and welcome to Tenable Security Center product education channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to utilize the third party tool Selenium in order to record our authentication steps and then utilize that same recording within Tenable Security Center for web application scanning. As stated earlier, Selenium is a third party tool. Now we highly recommend utilizing this tool in the vast majority of authentication scenarios, except for those defined by the HTTP protocol itself, such as basic digest NTLM Kerberos and also certificate-based authentication. Otherwise, please utilize Selenium. With that in mind, let's get started. Now we first need to install the Selenium IDE browser extension. This can be done in Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, or Mozilla Firefox. While any of these browsers will work, I'll be performing this demonstration in Chrome. So first we're gonna to head to Google search or the appropriate search for your browser and simply type in a meaningful search query such as Selenium IDE browser extension for Google Chrome. Now let's go ahead and click into it. Once selecting, you're gonna see Add to Chrome over on the right-hand side. Please select that. And then Add Extension. Now, once it's been added, you can go ahead and start using it immediately. I like to click on the extensions and then add it as a pin or the equivalent for your browser. Now that you've opened up the Selenium IDE, the browser extension, you can record a new test in a new project, the top option. We're going to give this project a name. For this particular example, I'm going to be using a purpose-built vulnerable web application called Google Gurrier. Once you have a project name, select OK, and then enter in the base URL. And then click Start Recording. Now you can walk through all of these steps in the authentication. Now that you've completed the authentication, you can go back to the Selenium extension by clicking Selenium in the top right hand corner and then clicking the stop icon. You can give this test any name, the name is irrelevant. Now, before we save this and enter it into the scanner, we want to first check to make sure that the authentication has worked correctly. To do this, we're going to log out of the web application, then go back to Selenium, and then we're going to hit the play button, run current test. The next step is to click the save button in the top right hand corner, and it looks like a floppy disk. As a quick note, the file will be saved in plain text. So the values of the username and the password will be saved to your machine in plain text and proper precautions should be taken. Now, once this has been saved, we can head back over to Security Center. Now that we are back in Security Center, we can finally get started adding our credentials. First, you're going to give it a name. If you want, you can give it a description as well as a useful tag. For the authentication method, you're going to click the drop down that currently says login form, and you're going to select Selenium authentication. Then you're going to choose the file that you just saved from the previous step, and you're going to add it here like so. Next, you'll give the script a name, and then for the last step, we'll want to head back to the web application. What Security Center is now asking for is a page with information on it that will only appear when you have logged in. In this particular case, you can click on the home page and then you can look in the top right hand corner to find the username or the sign out link. Both of those are great options to add to your configuration. So we're going to grab this URL and then the word user and head back to Security Center. I'm gonna paste that URL back in and then I'm going to type the word user and then click Submit. Once it's been submitted, we can now add it to our scan. The credentials can be added in the Credentials section. First, you're going to select the drop-down and then Web Application Authentication. And then you'll select the credentials which you have just saved. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video.